And just then, the beautiful Prince Charming rode his noble steed into battle. He held up his sword high, and then he slayed the dragon. After he saved everyone in the world, he went home and became a wonderful lord to his people. The end. <sighs> that story is always the best, Mama. <laughs> it was always your favorite. Yeah, but the end has changed over the years. Well, that's because things change. What you once found great when you were a kid, you might not as an adult. I had to spice things up a bit. I've never given up on a chance to tell my babies a story, no matter how old they get. Thanks, Mom. But, uh, do you think you can read me another story? <laughs> Levin, the girls went to sleep an hour ago. You should, too. But, Mom... Shh. You need to sleep. Mr. Sleeps in whenever he can. Right. <laughs> if you guys keep the ship on course, we should reach the shores of the Yggdrasil outskirts. You've been a big help this past week. Now, go to sleep, little Levin. I love you. I love you too, Mama. <laughs> Night. <laughs> you gotta stop babying him. There's nothing wrong with that. He rarely gets to relax these days. At least when he's with me, I want him to feel loved. Fair enough. But he's a grown man. So? <sighs> Never mind. We'll be landing at dawn. How's Caitlin? She's confined herself to her cabin tonight. Is she still seasick? Well... <laughs> She's seen better days. Oh, poor Caitlin. She's amazing for having lasted this whole week on a boat. I forgot that she had an issue with sailing. <laughs> we all have our Achilles heel. True. Hey, Garth? Yes. Are you afraid? Afraid? I beg your pardon? Of what we're going to find. Every time we have to investigate something that deals with Irene, I always feel like I might lose a part of myself. What if I remember who I was and forget who I am? Even if that happens, you'll always be Lady Aphmau to me. I won't forget the sacrifices you made for us, just like I won't forget you. <laughs> Thank you, Garth. Any time, Avmau. Caitlin, are you okay? Land, thank Irene. Can I get you some water or anything? No, oh, I'm fine. Uh, I was hoping that after all these years I'd conquered my seasickness, but that's one trial that takes longer to get over, I guess. You can't train yourself to get rid of seasickness. Besides, you used to get sick during the first hour of a boat trip. Now you can go for days. That's progress. <laughs> Thanks. Still. Still need Zoe to fix you up? <laughs> Zoe! Zoe, it's wonderful to see you! You don't know how much I've missed you, Afmal. You as well, Caitlin. I'd hug you too, but... Say no more. Here, I made you something to settle your stomach, Caitlin. I remembered your... condition. <laughs> Zoe, this is amazing! Thank you! Anytime, and... <gasps> These little sugar muffins! Oh my gosh! They've grown! Lilith, Alina! Hey, don't forget me! Levin! You don't know how I feel right now. So many people from my family here. I'm going to tear up. I can't. We need to focus on what is currently going on. The heart of darkness. Zoe? What's happening exactly? I don't know. 
The heart has taken form, and you need to see it with your own eyes. Please, follow me. I'll be taking you all to Yggdrasil's forest. Zoe, I beg your pardon, but aren't humans not allowed in the sacred forest? This is a very special circumstance. Our home is... changing. Because of that change, the Elder is willing to allow humans into the forest, seeing as the legend herself, Lady Irene, is going to grace us with her presence. <sighs> Don't worry, Afmo. Remember who you are. Right. Now, one thing I should tell you. Do not travel far from me. The trees like to absorb life that is foreign to these lands. And if you separate from me and my barrier's magics, they might try to absorb you. So, stay close. Please, follow me. You need not worry about the little ones. I'll keep an eye on them. Hey, these girls are my sisters. At least give me a chance to help. Of course, Lord Levin. By all means. You two can work together. Just know I'll be watching over everyone, too. Now come on. We need to keep up. Welcome to the Adrasil Village. Wow, it's beautiful. Amazing. The forest was beautiful, but this... Isn't it? <laughs> ah. Tired, little ones? It is about nap time. Follow me. I'll take you to a safe place in the village for a nap. Everyone else, please wait here. Should one of us go with them? Gareth, they are fine with Leoshant. Right. Sorry, it's just... It's just... We really should be getting to see the Heart of Darkness. Right? Yes. But... I understand Zoe's concern with getting the girls to another place before we head to hers. Causing panic among us with the little ones in our presence is not good for their health, either. Wow. I never thought of it that way. I guess traveling with children has got to be tough. It is. We try to keep our stress down around them. Children pick up on these things, you know? Help! Brothers! Sisters! It's an emergency! Hmm? <sighs> so much for keeping the stress down. What's going on? My elven brothers and sisters, one of our kind hath been taken by the forest. The forest is not acting out of spite for anything we have done. It is acting out of spite for the outsiders we have allowed into it. What the... Are they talking about us? It was because we have allowed one to come back that was once banished. We should give her to the forest instead. Stop! It's not because of the outsiders. The Elder has allowed them to come here himself. Here she is, the cause of all our hardship! Gabriel, you aren't even listening! Toss her out! We don't want you here! You were banished once, then you should have stayed banished! Please, listen! I think we have listened to enough of your stories. Stop! A human? Are these the intruders you allowed into our forest? Like those boys you did long ago? No. I forced her to bring us here. Huffmel, no! Don't 
Let her tell you otherwise. So it was you. What makes you think you have the right to enter our woods? My name is Lady Athmal. I also go by Lady Irene. It's her. It can't be. That's Irene? <laughs> Irene or not, this is our forest. Don't blame Zoe. She's been through enough already. She learned her lesson from her banishment before. Do you know why she was banished in the first place? Gabriel, stop! I won't stop, Zoe. Not until you see the pain you've caused. Please, stop yelling. I am more than happy to speak with you on these matters in private. But Commander, what about Rose? Roko? Levin? Roko, what's going on? Levin, it's so good to see you. Rose and I were out and we were attacked by the forest. Attacked by the forest? How is that possible? All right, everyone, break it up! Afmal, we need to move this somewhere private. Sir, if you seek an audience with me, I suggest you follow. Ha! Who are you to give me orders? You will follow me. Then I will. How dare he talk to you like that? It's okay, Gareth. He's doing exactly what I want him to do. After checking in with the Elder, sources tell me you are indeed the real Irene. My name is Afmal. Irene is the name I've yet to get used to. I see. Well, Afmal, from what you told me before, you are the reason Zoe has been acting out lately. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. I am her ex-husband. Her what? I am Gabriel. Member of the Elven Council and leader of the Guard in the Yggdrasil Forest. It is my job to make sure my brothers and sisters here are safe. And Zoe is jeopardizing that? Many, many years ago, Zoe had discovered she could use magics. However, only Elves that serve on the Elven Council are allowed to know magics. Foolishly, Zoe conducted experiments on medicine using her power until she used too much of it and angered the forest. We were forced to banish her. Years had passed and we discovered that our elder was a power-hungry traitor. He left and was never seen again. For a time, I took over the council, until the elder now was appointed. I brought Zoe back, but she left. Years ago, she comes back with two children in tow. She conducts more experiments and then left again. She has no respect for our forest, or her and my relationship. I'm sure Zoe had. I loved her. And she continues to hurt me every time. She brings in outsiders and treats them better than her own family. Then she goes on of this heart of darkness. That's the reason this forest is upset. That's why it's taking our people. With all due respect, Zoe has been my faithful companion since I met her. I have never asked her of her past, and while I understand your side of the story, I'd rather hear this from Zoe's mouth. I want you to take care of your business here, and then to get out of my forest, you understand? Take whatever you gave Zoe and leave. Is that all you brought me in for? Zoe won't listen to me, so maybe her human friends will. Please, let us help you. There must be something we can do. Don't you dare. These are our matters. I don't care if you are Irene or not. You are not our deity. The other elves may think the world of you, but in my eyes, you took Zoe from me. And that's all I know. Now, I don't want to see you or your kind helping us with the matters at hand. Take care of the business you came here for. But then, get out. As you wish. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see a scene like that. 
These are personal matters, and I know you didn't come here for that. Where's Levin? Levin went to console Roko. When Levin lived here, he and Malachi were friends with Roko and Rose. Best friends. But these matters should be left up to our council. Zoe, maybe we can? No, please, follow me. You came here for a reason. Athmel? We cannot help them. We have to stay strong and respect their wishes. Let's try to do that. Now, the heart has taken form. Athmel, you should prepare yourself. Huh? I think it's a form you'll recognize. <laughs> Mao, Caitlin, I'll stand guard outside. Garth? Caitlin, I think this is a moment Afmao will need you. Right. Afmao? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. That... That is an Aaron. But it looks so much like him. It's Shad. Or rather, some part of him. Of course it's not him. We saw what happened to his body. Irene! What? Irene... How could you? Why did it have to be her? What's going on? This has been happening. I don't know what to do. Why, Irene? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'll find my fragment and take it. <laughs> 